Hello everyone, Chocolate Paradox here. Welcome to The Walking Dead. Um, the Telltale series by Walking Dead. Now I've been wanting to record this for a while. Now I've been doing YouTube for five years, but this channel has been up for two years. I've started my channel like... I've started multiple channels, but my first one started back in 2015. And I always wanted to record this, um... The series of all the seasons and all of that for some months now. So... I hope this goes well. Sadly, Telltale Games has been... Uh, they went to bankruptcy and they had to close down. But this game is now owned by Skybound, I think. And it's very sad to see Telltale go. But their game will never be forgotten, that's for sure. Now let's get right into the video. This game series has taps on the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Hell yeah, the game is starting. Now, this thumbnail has been made by Bear. I forgot, I forgot her actual channel name, but something Bear. So I hope you all like the thumbnail. <laughs> Link in the description below. Go subscribe to her. Thank you. Um, oh, <laughs> fucking dead. Oh, I've wanted to play this for a while. I don't even know. Episode 1, a new day. Indeed, it is a new day. It's like 9 a.m. here, so... I know this guy's name is Lee. I know a little bit of stuff in this game, but like two stuff, like one major thing in season one though. But nothing else. I, I know something very little about season two, but nothing else. So I'm playing this very uh, blindly. Uh, well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Oh, he's getting arrested, isn't he? Hmm. Doesn't really matter. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. Exactly. Now, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. The <laughs> guys in your position already said it enough. Do I, oh, I can look around, okay. Now aim at the target at the rear of your mirror. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from making then? You're from making then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Be advised, uh, medical personnel en route to Hartsfield, various 10 to 20 Look at radio. Look at rear from here. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. Basically, a teacher. You meet your <laughs> wife in Athens? Ooh. You want to know how I see about it? That? Okay. Sure. Actually, you got much choice. I got much choice? Sure don't. <laughs> exactly. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh, wow. Let's just drop the F-bomb on this guy. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on looking at the mirror. Can I? No, I'm gonna look at the radio. that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. Yeah, I think it's kind of important seeing that much cops driving on the road. Just saying. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Officers are available for incoming 217. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. 
Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Yeah, there's a bit of a lag. I recorded this some days ago and wasn't that Maybe dislike. he was innocent. I mean, innocent? Sure. They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little oh, bit less oh, depressing and a bit more. Oh, is that a locker? If I do say so. What's out? Oh, this is gonna get real. Remember this. <laughs> Welcome to the Walking Dead. <laughs> Sorry. Um, look at handcuffs. Damn it. Kick window. Hell yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Broke the window. Hell yeah. Now move towards the window using W. Yeah, I know how that works. <laughs> I pressed the Q button by accident. Nice. Let's just jump over. We got this. Lee. Parkour. Parkour. Come on. Uh. As it's good enough. The guy's injured, and he survived that crash. Now that's one hell of a man. Uh. And Rick Rooney is nice. Yeah, I know how to move. The name's Lee. I, forget. I don't know what, what his surname is, but hey, Lee. Lee from Macon. God. Oh, I, I I used to watch this. I, I I don't know who used to play this. What did PewDiePie play season one? I used to watch a YouTuber specifically that played The Walking Dead games. Did Jack Sept Yeah, Jack Septicai did play them. I used to watch him mostly. Uh, memories. Now I'm playing it. All four seasons. We're gonna be playing season one and season four. We're gonna play Michonne. We're gonna play all those games. 400 days. All of that. I hope. <laughs> all right, let's get the shotgun. Just in case a walker, or just in case the officer comes into a walker, you know? Looks empty. Oh. Wait, oh It'll yeah. be easier to carry with these cuffs off. You know what, Lee? I like your terminology. Yeah. I have a shotgun shell, though. That's something. Officer? I don't know. Maybe he would respond. I don't know. Oh no, don't bring it up close. Wait, did I just saw his hand twitch? I'm just hallucinating. Uh huh. Oh, we're good, okay. Hell yeah. Oh! Gosh, started it, Lee! <laughs> oh no. Oh no, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. Oh. And we got lucky, hell yeah. Just get these things off because hell, yeah, we're gonna be free. We're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna be. Free. We're free. Oh no, oh, no. officer. Oh, 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 you're in for a real treat, bucko. You're in for a fuck. Oh, gosh darn it, Lee. Where the hell are you? Lee, 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 Lee,
And fuck you. Oh. We're safe. We did it. Luke. Great job. Yeah. We flippin' did it. Is that Clementine? I remember her, that's for sure. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Oh, Clementine, she looks so young. Oh? Start from this way. Oh no, oh no, walkers. We need to get the hell out of Dodge. Ah! stuff to say <laughs> playing this blindly but I what I feel is important I don't talk hello anybody is that a city that's a city over there I don't know it's zoomed out so much oh, okay <laughs> no ladder I'm not getting up there anyway this leg the way it is mm -hmm. we're gonna go in there we're gonna go in there Lee let's enter this home is that a person? Oh, it's just. A, okay, I thought the, the 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 metal thingy was like a person, a silhouette of a person, but it wasn't. Just open a door. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Hello. There's something going on. Let's just yeah. Let's just open the door. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Now, who would shoot Lee? He sounds like a nice guy. I remember him when Jack used to play it, I think. He was such a nice person. Ah! Lee is just an amazing character. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Even a shadow. I'm sorry. He's just me like These at the graphics. I got for some Must be Clementine's house. I don't know. I just got the feeling that it's Clementine's. Like, there's blood. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, what was that? Answering machine. Maybe oh my there's God, something they on exist there. In this game. Uh. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Whoa. My dad had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, oh, so he's blood. not feeling well oh, enough no. to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be what back in time before his spring says. break. Message two, left at eleven nineteen. Wait, it means Clementine. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. 
Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. I guess that was her babysitter. She mentioned the babysitter. Man. Hi there. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't see that coming time. Did you kill it? Oh, okay. Well, I think something else did. Before me, I think. She screamed two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah. That's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Yes. What should we do now? Father Lee. Throw in the storage, get out once the sun... Yeah, we so need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Man, if it's night time, there's gonna be like a crap load of walkers. It's like Minecraft, okay? Let's go. Oh, Stay it's close like Minecraft, to me. okay? You better go out in the daytime than the nighttime, because then you're gonna see the phantoms coming in. I'm sorry, I've been playing Minecraft too much. Man, Clementine looks so young. I, I heard someone make a grunt. I ain't joking. I hope that was the lead. You know what? I just make a noise now. What the hell? I heard it again. I it might be a glitch or maybe actual person here. An actual person. My English. I'm sorry. <gasps> People. I come in peace, Mister. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This I sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. I'm opening the gate. I'm gonna beat those assholes. I'm joking. I'm gonna help them. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? 
I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Freitas! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. <laughs> Hi, Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Like, why are you taking care of her since you're just a stranger? You know? What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. <laughs> Lee, quick, let's go. Should I push the car or do I... Okay, okay, what do I do? Double do or push? This thing's not gonna drive though. Just some guy? It seems like you've saved a bunch of lives today. I forgot to tell you, episode, I'm gonna play the whole episode today. It's all the time. Just see what time it is. Sean and what other guy's name? It's a confusing name. It sounds very funny. Ch check. Hey, Sean. I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, Chet. I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So, it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. At least a guy question. Uh, yeah. What happened in real it's life? It's not doing this so good. good. Uh, oh, well, I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Yeah, I fell on blood two times, got pulled back. You know? Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel. Isn't it from a guy from The Walking Dead? Like the... the, the How'd this show? happen? I don't know. I never watched it. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Oh. I don't 
I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. He's respectful. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Folks really. in the barn is more? I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... I'm not gonna say, say, shit. I'm gonna say yeah. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty, Pretty far. far. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Get up. I ain't know that face from somewhere. Uh, itchy. Science season two. Well, you slept in a jet. barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. <laughs> duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. 
You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Look and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You gotta talk to them. She seems like a nice person. What's her name? Katya? Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, so Kenny, just... So, okay. It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good prison. friends. Like, All oh, of those things. Prison, eh? what you do, you know? Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Exit. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. I'm gonna talk to Kenny. <laughs> Kenny, how you doing? It's not the most reliable pickup in the world. But it gets the job done. All right, Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Ick. See you. <laughs> So peaceful. Sean! <laughs> oh, what? What? I got stuck in the tree. Wait. Sean! <laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Oh, sure. Any, any time. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, Aww. and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Just be honest. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Question. Is this an infection of the Walking Dead, like worldwide, or is it just in the U.S.? And Sean, if it's thanks again for the ride. In the U.S. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Then other countries can help the anyway, U.S. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Hey, Doc. How's stuff doing? 
Heard you retarded. <laughs> Thanks, Q. Pleasure, duck. Hello there. <laughs> Hi. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. Oh, no. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Yeah. Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Yeah. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Whoa! Oh, I'll get my gun! Walker? My leg is He's just a kid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Help me! could help them both. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! What the stair? Gosh, I want to save Sean. But then there's Duck, he's a little kid. You've got that like ride him. to make it if you want it. Aw, oh, thank you. I just realized I just said, take it, Kenny. I'm starting to shot, no. Man, what an episode. You're gonna get a wrist? 
the save sun shine saved us man it was for shine cool. well this is as far as we're going and it's far enough Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. I ain't friendly. Fuck! Oh, I ain't friendly already. We're trapped! Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Jesus. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? It Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Yeah. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go! No, wait, no, I didn't want to like that. They've got kids, no, Lily. <laughs> Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. He's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop Please, him! Please. What do we do about this guy? I am gonna physically... Dad, it's the just a boy. It, it's... But we kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right You're now, about we're about to be trapped to in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? No, He's bitten! That's how you turn! Shit. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because Anyone that boy is bitten. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now!
Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, no, wait, Kenny. Jesus Christ, no, I just want you to do it. Clementine! Stop falling, please. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Get off! Uh, come on, come on, come on. Be okay? Just great, thanks. I heard more. Uh, guys? Why wouldn't I? Everybody down! Stay quiet! I gotta get in! Shut up! God, that sounds like an AR. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Shut! Uh, 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 whatever's going on, heart attack. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try right, to get in there. Right. Behind I, the I, counter I, I, where the confused. pills are. How oh, America works. Drugstore pharmacy? Oh, I'm sorry. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. Doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. Yeah, called drug You're right. This ain't exactly so Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Greed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. You. You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Hi. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. So you're vulnerable, so you don't have power. That's what I like to see. ATM. Why do we need an ATM? ATM at the moment. I'm sorry, I'm bored. Um, office. That's a bathroom. Well, there's a The gate. pills are in there. Yeah. No crap. Found you. Just a second. I just realized something. What if, because Carly asked Lee, how did you know that the office is there? What if it's, is this, I think this is Macon, right? If, if this is Macon, what if his family worked here and now he's looking at that blood stain and he's thinking that, hey, so, so one people in his family or some of his family died in here. I don't know, just a theory, I don't know. <laughs> this is what I like doing when I play these type of games. I played Borderlands and I, I couldn't stop theorizing about, hey, what was that? Was there's a photo over there. There's a photo over yeah, there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a photo. Oh, yeah, it is. That's Lee. 
I knew it. That's his brother. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Oh, no. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. You're I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. Just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, where were we? The first aid, hell yeah. first aid kit. Do we need it? I'm gonna take it. There might be these pills, nitros. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. I know my way around pills, if you know what I mean, but not in that way. Um, bedding. There. This may be a way out to the alley. This door leads to the back alley. Exactly. A cane. What's that? A cold This is my cane. dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I want to be a good dad when I grow up. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers but in the drawers. If there were more people like me, this world would be amazing. I mean, without the murder part. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not uh, crazy about forced. it either. All right, a little further. I, I hate, I hate soccer. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Oh, don't worry, Clem. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Can I hug you, Clementine? I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Oh. oh no. Are you okay? I hurt. 
hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Don't worry, we'll get you a bandage. I'll find you a bandage. Yeah. Bandage, bandage, open drawer, maybe. You need a TV? Got our TV remote for it. First aid kit, hell yeah. I'm gonna search that, I'm gonna search that boot. Would you like a bandage? If that guy says she's been bitten, I am going to grab his head, put it in a drawer, and smash the, his head with a drawer. I'm sorry, I'm stuck. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Hatch her up, Lee. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. My apologies, I'm, I, I was thinking. All this vo the volume of the game is on louder than my voice. I just thought about it now. I, I think we said this morning, but maybe I'm gonna bring it down a notch. There we go. Why is his hand so gray? Jesus. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Now we need the keys. That's what I figured. What I figured. Oh, okay, same thing happens. Okay. Um, maybe I'll talk to Clem tonight? I don't know. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, sure. I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Seems Clint. That's from okay. Walking Dead, like the TV show. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and, uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? 
Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies, and you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Aw, oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Anything for you, Kenny. You're the best man here, man. You know? I, I love you, Kenny. I think me and Kenner are gonna be good friends. Back in the office. I don't know, I'm trying to find a key. I don't know where the key is. If not, I'm gonna pause the video, search up on YouTube where the key is. Because I don't know where it is. I don't know where the gosh darn key is. Where did you hide it, Dad? Oh my god. First aid kit. Maybe it's in the first aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Wait, why luckily, Billy? It wouldn't be a unusual. My pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. There we go, just search stuff on YouTube where the hell's the key. Okay, I think I know where the key is. I only looked at YouTube for like two seconds. And I think I know where it is. So I need to apparently go and talk to Doug. I'm sorry for search up on YouTube, just don't wanna make this episode well this video very long for y'all to be like you know boring and I wanted to keep it consistent and me actually doing stuff instead of me just standing still searching for the goddamn key. So let's go talk to Doug. That's why I did that. It's not because I wanna cheat anything. Hi Doug. You Heard or seen anything? Nothing luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? Mm -hmm. get a next. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure, uh, let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, uh, I think so too. Maybe years. We better keep it down out of here. Hey, 
can't reach that brick. That guy over there has the keys. Can you be sure? I found this in the office. The boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. His brother. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, the brick. I can't reach that brick. I'm gonna tell him to get the brick. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. I'm positive. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Oh look, your favorite show's on TV. I got a few of them to take notice. see wandering around out there. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. for wasting your time when we're out here. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, again, I'm, I'm playing this very new. It's very new for me. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with I those think things out there? Open.
is it. Ah. Okay, so basically I talked to Carly and we're basically heading out somewhere. I forgot where. But well, we're heading out. I hope we'll find something. Yeah. Motel. Shit. Get down. I think this episode is very flippin' long. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna play the whole episode. Did you if y'all don't like it, I'll find a way. I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the yeah, corner, let's go room, have a I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. What the hell's going on with the camera? Through some attention. Be careful. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. I'm done trying to punch out windows. without attracting the others. Trying to find something. He's not going anywhere. We can do something with that car. Ah. I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front.
a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Then back we go. Yeah, so basically you have to go on the RV thingy. They really want to get into that room. as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Yeah. I didn't realize it was there. So you're gonna take it. Good luck smothering them to death. No, That's not really what I have in mind. If not, I'll go to the other zombie. So, we're gonna try with this one. Let's quickly transition to the other zombie. Alrighty. Now, let's... Get out your gun. Zombie. But the noise! Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. I was sick! <laughs> and I heard nothing. Awesome! Thank you. I don't know where on cars as you can see. Stop crying! <laughs> I'm joking. Why am I back with you? Hmm. Will this work? Hey. What? Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Travel brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. So what shall we stop? 
That's a good question. Wait, I can open a door now, right? Because, like, I broke the window. Wall. Okay, so we're gonna take out the zombie that's biting the love and hell out of that other dead person. So we're gonna move to the RV. That's my idea. We move to the RV, right? We're gonna go to that zombie if possible. I'm gonna stab it. If not, we're gonna go on the other side and stab. Well, there's two zombies now. So my theory is that. I'll wait for him to get closer. Hell yeah. Get him! Nice! Thanks for having my back. Sure. Hell yeah. The pleasure is all mine. There we go, now that's how to Dude, where'd out. your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it's cool. You. Now we've got this. Oh, Are you two done? Not yet. Two more. That should help. Excellent. Moving in. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. So dark in here. And I say, banana. You want some? Come get some. Cool. Rad. Indeed. Fire department. <laughs> Why is everything so black? Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Okay. You might want to break through that board first. Shut up! I can't see. Apparently a board broke. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. Pleasure. You're hurt. Oh god. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? Told you I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Of a boyfriend? When? <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You oh, have a no, gun. Not. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Oh no! You're oh not. whoa whoa! Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're they're satanic. No, you're we can't not. let you you're gonna do make, that you're to yourself. Make and do it for me. We need to get going. 
Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! No. Whoa! Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just you relax now. Sound. You, can make sound. you need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... Oh, no, no, no! no! Get out of here. Nothing's gonna come back. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Huh. That went oddly good. I thought it was like the people. Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and well yeah. We're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Yeah, but first you need a key. You know which now I know how to get. Don't worry, mister. Even though you're an, you were an asshat, in which you still are one, um, I can help you by getting Doug to come with me outside. Hey Doug, I'm going, I'm going, have the axe. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Mm -hmm. Let's have a look around. Okay. Alrighty. Man, this episode is long. Are they actually this long? All right, look at this. Wanna see a magic trick? Awesome. Yeah, I know. Now to distract those things. Carefully. We get that brick. I can't reach that brick. Oh. Well, now I can. <clears throat> we could have actually reached it through the gate, but... Try to get in there and get weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. Hell yeah! Chuck it! Bam! Yeah, I'm gonna 
assume that's what happened. You find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of them through all of it, that helped. Hurry. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. I need to take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell it's out of the door real. behind me. It's gonna Glenn, be real. you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Dad, we need your help! Please hurry! Where? Hey, Lee! If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! On it. Are you sure? Shit! What? Oh, shit! Okay, then. Pimentai, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Did you find anything? Nothing! Wait! That window is screwed! Oh! E-E-E-A-4 
shorts. I found something. Oh, who am I that's tame? Sure. No! Get off me! No, Doug! If I let her die, she may not tell me that I was a murderer to her group, but she seems like a nice person. I'm sorry, I'm gonna save you, Carly. Oh my god. Let's go! Got Doug. They. They. Oh my god, move! Uh, bastard! We're leaving this place, that's for sure. They're not coming with this, you son of a bitch! No! no! I were gonna I was gonna help you get the meds. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Thank you. Especially a good friend. Thank you, Kenny. God bless you. Wow. I'm gonna kill that guy. <laughs> if he survives for episode two, I'm gonna kill him. I'm I'm gonna kill that guy. I'm gonna make sure he dies. That's for sure. friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sure. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Go for it. Actually, I might die though. You'll be safe with us, but you have friends. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Goodbye, Glenn. I'll miss you, Glenn. Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. I remember when I packed them up. Shut up, old man. You're gonna let me down. What if I got bit and we didn't realize? You can't. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Oh. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. 
That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it earlier. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Carly. Hi. Can you just look over it? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yes. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? Can you just look over there? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. It's not like we have much to begin with. It was so awesome. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Sad. He lost Doug, he lost Sean. Well, Herschel, we don't know about him anymore. Hope I'll see oh man, Sean check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow pow pow. I, I am gonna do what I thought Super then. Dinosaur was toast. Can you but you know what? No voice or was Oh, and then? Hey, Doc, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? What? No. Not really. Good. Stay away from her. Or everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? Bastard. I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. I mean, I respect hey, what he Lee, said, do but you he's have an a asshole. Second? And I'm gonna make sure he dies in episode two. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. The guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. Hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. Hell yeah. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Definitely gonna be okay. Oh. <sighs> wow. Just wow. Next time on The Walking Dead, episode one's done. I thought we'd be good? fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? 
In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't a worry war? me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You've never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him! Happening. No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> Man, please just stay tuned for episode two. That's gonna be awesome. Um, my plan is to post one Walking Dead video every week. So this week you got this, next week I'm gonna post another one. If that's not what you want, if you guys want two episodes per week, comment down below. I'll try to make it happen. If not, then you know, honesty, light to Herschel. You have 54% of players were honest. We'll just say if Duck or Sean, 50% chose Duck. Jeez, a lot of people chose Doug over Carly. This was episode one. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been Tropical Paradox. Please do stay tuned for episode two, bucket because this is gonna be a real banger, I think. Um, yeah, that, that's all. I'm gonna do some videos on, on my new server. If you wanna join my server, link in the description below. And yeah, I hope you guys um, like this video. If you want anything changed, please comment down below. I will try and make it happen. And yeah, it's been Tropical Paradox enough for the last time. Bye-bye and stay tropical. Yeah.